Hey guys, so I'm going to try and do a chatty tutorial before, but hopefully it won't be long. So let's get into it. First I'm going to use the concealer, it is in the colour Maple, and it's a sponge applicator concealer. I've never tried using sponge before, so let's see how this goes. Oh wow, talk about sponge, I've got to see it. That looks weird. Well, that sponge is not going to be wiped for much longer, I can tell you that. Can you take it out? Because it, it's like a gap. Okay, let me squeeze it and see what happens. Oh, you can see colour coming out. Colour squirting out, that's cool. Okay, I need a lot of concealer here. That is, oh my god, that is so cool. Better than the Miss Forty as a twist and twist. This came out pretty like quick, straight away. Look how much coverage you get. <laughs> I oh my god, I'm loving this. I've never done sponge before. I even recently just bought the Maybelline's one because I wanted to try it out and it's so hyped up. Okay, I think I'm gonna speed up the blending and all that. I don't want this to be long but oh my god surprise so far oh my god that blended so well you can't even see my spot now and I look so bright under my eyes so next I'm going to try is their foundation. It's a stick form. Again, I've never tried a stick form foundation. So let's see how this goes. I'm just going to swipe it on. I don't even know what to do. This is in Amber Honey. I just guessed it. Can you even see? Oh wow, well, it might actually blend because I can't even see that. Okay. Smile. <laughs> Oh wow, I can't even see that. I need to get them a mirror. I actually can't see it. Okay, I can see it now I've got my mirror. I think it's identical. I'm actually happy with that. Now let me get my brush and blend. Do you guys see a difference in my skin? Because it feels the same, it's so lightweight, I feel like there's nothing even on my face. Which is a good thing to most people, but I like, it's weird, I like feeling it, I like the heaviness of foundations, I like knowing it's on my skin. Can you, does that even look like it's going on? Oh my god, I'm probably going, why is this girl putting so much on? Let me just put over this spot, I'll, I'll know once <laughs> it's covered. Okay, so I'm really happy with this product because one, the fact that I couldn't even see that it was on my skin shows how perfect of a match it is. Second of all, it is covered and not like a light coverage, it's quite medium to full. Now I look flawless, I could literally just go out like this and be like, no makeup. <laughs> Hashtag makeup, no makeup. Look at that. Oh, I probably wouldn't even blend that. You wouldn't even realise. Oh my god, I'm so in love. Okay, let's move on to the next item. Next item is the Ready Set Go Matte Translucent Powder in white. They do have a colour one, but I chose white because why not? It has the whole thing, but it doesn't come out. It has like a, a thing to stop it and I can't get that off. Great. That's actually really hard to open. If you had nails, you'd probably break them. It's proper tight in there. Oh my god, I finally got it out. <gasps> okay, um, 
yeah, so that happened. You won't even be able to see it. I don't know if you're supposed to poke holes for it, but that took forever to come out, and now I've just wasted half of it because it's on me. I don't know if I can show you. Okay, that is the powder. Now. Damn boy, that's white. Okay. Make sure you're not wearing clothes when you're using this powder. And if you put holes into it because this crap goes everywhere. I have it on my jeans that are just freshly washed. Wow. That's great. That's real. Oh my god, I literally just got in my eye. Do not use this without the holy thing because trust me, it's a nightmare. This oh my god. Epic bad is happening in this video. This is what real beauty <laughs> gear is. Do not show you. Let's swiftly move on to the bronzer because <laughs> Clearly not having a good time. So this is in the colour medium dark. So they have a light to medium. This is quite dark. Oh, I'm happy. Man of bronzes I've tried. Let's see how this goes. Oh boy, that is dark. <laughs> go with a light hand. If you don't like contour like this, go with a light hand because. I'm into that strong contour, you can see contour, so, and everything looks worse on camera, <laughs> it's actually blended in real life in the camera, it looks like it's not. I'm loving my brushes right now, I recently washed them for the first time, not the first time but in months, and it feels so fluffy and soft on your face. When you've used it for a long time and it's got product, it doesn't feel like that. Okay, the bronzer looks it's gone too low on my face. I hate that this isn't powder, but here is their Stro Sticks highlight stick. This is in the colour Starstruck. And let's see how this goes. Well, shows it really looks like I've got a highlighter on, so. I, th I think that's down to foundation. Why do I always look like I've got a highlight on? Okay, let's blend this out. Let me just do a line. I mean, it's very natural, but I know these don't last long. This will probably rub off. Just a weird concept to me. Well, at least it, it unscrews quite a bit. Okay, so this highlight is good for natural people don't want to look natural because it's good. So I would recommend you buy it because it's good for natural highlight. But I'm not into that. So personally, I'm not a fan of this highlighter. Okay, let's just move on to the brows. So this is the Arch Rival and it comes with a highlight, so it's double ended. This is in the shade Medium. This can be weird, like pencil highlight. How's that going to work? Okay, let's draw these babies on. I look so orange and bronze in this video. But trust me, I'm not a match. My brows are looking so horrible right now because I'm trying to grow them out. I thought that'd be all oh, week two. No, it's been months. And these are still ain't growing out, which is annoying as hell. That's not even blending in. I mean, it's natural, but I'm not into natural, so. Not for me. This is coming out so light. I mean, you can totally see a difference. 
But this is so natural that you can pretty much see through the tail that I'm trying to draw. I feel like it's not doing anything when I'm drawing it on. So I've just done my brows and they're very natural as you can see but I had such a I had such a hard time trying to draw them on. It came out so light and it's more for filling your hairs out if you're trying to if you've got no eyebrows and you're trying to draw one on this is not gonna work. So let me try the highlight end and see how that is. Do it under the brow bone to give it a natural highlight. Okay, so just try the highlight end, and honestly, that did not do crap for me. My brow bone doesn't look many much highlighted than it was. Okay, guys, guess what? We're going to move on to the eyes. We're going to do eyeliner. Not only didn't I buy a eyeshadow, I also forgot. I don't think I forgot. I think it was expensive. The mascaras are like six. I think you could get one for £6 and another one for like £14 so moral of the story I didn't buy one so we are going for a very natural <laughs> no makeup look today not really because we're putting eyeliner on but you get my drift so let's try this because I have a thing about eyeliners and they never work so let's see how good this is I have to be so awkward when I feel my eyeliner looks because I need to be close to a mirror, but I can't see really what I'm doing. Just finished applying my eyeliner, and I want to say this is so, so, so good. It is better than Miss Sporty and it is better than Makeup Revolutions. I'm going to have to try this a little bit more to even try and say this is better than MUA's one which is my, I seem to realise, it's my holy grail, my favourite product of eyeliner that I've ever tried so far. So I would definitely tell you to try and buy this because it's definitely better. It's in between the price of Makeup Revolution is for me, but I mean, it's cheap, cheerful and worth it. It's black, it doesn't give you that see-through skin, it's easy to apply, you not feel like you're dragging it, it's actually, yeah, it's perfect. The fact that I bought an eyeliner, I mean, it doesn't really matter that I ain't got mascara on because you can't even see your lashes anyway when you wear eyeliner. Last but not least is the lipstick. Stick. It's in hashtag TBT. I keep dropping things. So let's give this a try. I hope this isn't like Makeup Revolutions and the colour looks good. So it's a pinky mauve type colour. And let's try this out. Oh, kill them. That is so nice. Oh my god. This smells so amazing. It's like it's like a perfume. It's like a sweet flowery perfume. So definitely get this because it smells amazing. Colour's not bad. At all. It's quite natural. It's not very wet, so you have to take a bit more on the brush. So natural, can you even tell the difference? Okay, so apply the lip. I am so impressed. The colour is great. It suits me. I'm going to tell you a couple of pros and cons. Pros, because it's not wet 
really wet it gives you easy control to swipe on which the next con is that it dries so quickly so you need to be fast with applying it and making sure it's perfect because it dries down almost immediately pro smells amazing negative be careful you lick your lips or something because you might taste the flowery perfume scent I'm gonna have to try this a couple of times so I did notice when I was first applying it the top bit was going a bit crumbly now it's dried it doesn't look I can't really see much crumbling but I hope when it wears out it doesn't crumble and it kind of fades and it'll be interesting to know when it's time to take it off is it like max where you literally have to scrub your lips until they bleed and there's a big stain or the like Colourpop where you take it off and it just comes off in one swipe this is probably most people's everyday lip look but I'm not into this colour, I'm not into nudes and it's like a pinky it's like a pinky brownie so it just has to grow on me but compared to Makeup Revolutions this is amazing there's no patchiness no crumbliness. It actually is perfect. You might need to apply a bit more in your inner lip because when you do that, you can see like the pinkness. And yeah, that is it. As I didn't get a mascara and eyeshadow, this is the look. So very natural. So hope you guys liked it. Even though I did a talk through with you guys, I'm going to still give you a summary of what I thought about the products. So first, concealer. Because I've about to say about it, I liked it, it blended, it didn't make me look white, covered what it needed to cover, it highlighted my eyes. Next foundation, I am quite impressed the fact that I literally could not even see it apply on, which means it's perfect. And even now, like, it blends in. I don't put foundation on my neck. I could probably wear it on its own and you wouldn't even have to tell. So natural. I love it. Even though I've never tried a stick foundation before, now I can kind of see why people hype up the Makeup Forever one. And that one's supposed to be high definition. And this is quite good coverage anyway, so. Oh, imagine like a comparison this to the makeup. Mm, I wonder if someone's done that. Anyways, <laughs> what should we talk about the bronzer? The bronzer is very good, pick me straight away. I still love my MUA one, I don't know if I'd use this over it. Because when you put it on first, pigment, but then it kind of, throughout the video it just kind of disappeared. Take what you want on that bronzer. I've had to choose between my MUA and this, I'll definitely choose my MUA. Because even though the colour's there, it's very, okay, let me just say it's too natural for me. Even though the colour's there, it's not, I don't know. We're going to talk about powder. It's good, it powdered. I'm not oily, so I can't really tell if it matted me. But, for the only reason I wouldn't purchase this is the packaging. It was so hard trying to unscrew, like, pull this out. It doesn't even have like poked holes in so you can't keep it in like that unless you do it yourself it literally goes everywhere it's all on my clothes look at my top it's supposed to be black so for that reason I won't be buying that again the brow did not like it just like the Miss Boy one I don't think it did if I had to choose over Miss Boy and Lottie London I would definitely choose Lottie London but it just didn't do anything for me the highlight end didn't really work and the eyeliner perfect i love it i think it's so okay from now i would just say it's my second best eyeliner until i really compare it to the MUA and try it out and get to know it lips so the lipstick it's amazing it's perfect color i love it so yeah that is it for my summary i loved it all wouldn't we purchase the powder, the brow, the bronzer? I know they're famous for the brushes. Oh my god, I didn't even realise the brush I was applying my foundation was with the Lottie London stippling brush. I actually have the pink buffing brush. The more you know. But anyways, 
Comment down your thoughts below if you tried any Lotte London products. Let me know recommendations. Have you tried them? Scar, they did good. But yeah, until then, I'll see you guys later.